sounds a bit like a line from Lawrence of Arabia. Akaba! As I said, we only have usually 10 guests maximum, so it's pretty small. But we all, it's all very communal, very informal. Everyone sort of, you can see, open kitchen, everyone gets involved with the, with the chef, has a chat with him about his food. Um, and we dine together. So in the summer, we all dine outside, but in the winter, inside, and breakfast is served inside as well. We do usually sort of safari style activities, really focusing on the wildlife and the incredible vistas that we have here. The scenery is spectacular early morning, late afternoon. You can see our Elder Range and our wool shed where we're going for, for lunch. The wool shed and foreground there, that's it. That's just after sunrise, that light there. Just another common area here. There's a bit of a library. The red wine selection, just as you came through the corridor. Yeah, invaluable through the winter. People think Australia never gets cold. Mm -hmm. It gets cold. <laughs> Frost this morning. Yeah, it was beautiful. Couldn't yeah. believe it. Yeah, I love it. So people just chill out at their leisure. Uh, we've got a, a range of books. A huge European cultural settlement history in this region with sheep, sheep farming. And this is still a working sheep station here. Fantastic food. Exceptionally comfortable night's sleep. Good wine and awesome outdoor experience. So the bedding, for example, we've got um, a really flash mattresses with big latex top um, and 500 plus to account satin cotton, Egyptian cotton sheets, all that sort of thing. And it's all with an environmentally processed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything. This, is, this was made by someone in New South Wales and it's old fencing wire and it's a magpie, Australian magpie. And it's made from one piece of old fencing wire um, and it's, 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 a, it's a work of art, but it's also recycling old material, built a whole lot of stuff with our hands. So we're so lucky to be located where we are. Where we, chefs call South Australia the food bowl of Australia. It's got the best meats, the best food. Yeah. Yeah. Even even as a local yeah. 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 South Australia is probably well, the, the driest state.